Shevsky here, and welcome to Fantasy House. Did you love MTV Cribs when you were a little, a wee young lad or lass? Hmm? Do you ever watch HGTV and you're like, man, this would be really good if it had some more LSD on that HGTV? Well, then you're going to love this comedy podcast. Every week, my special guest walks us through their imaginary fantasy house. There's no limits on money or technology. They just come up with the craziest stuff, and it's really, really fun. This week, my guest is uh, one of my dearest homies. He's absolutely hilarious. This is one of the weirdest episodes we've ever freaking done. Did you think the uh, Chad Goes Deep episode was weird? Well, this is going to be even weirder. This is going to be weirder. Do you like like David Lynchian nightmares? <laughs> and this episode is for you. If you don't like David Lynchian nightmares or you're easily creeped out, scared, or triggered into being freaked out and tripped out, then uh, be careful with this one. Either watch it with someone that can hold your hand or don't listen to it at all. I said watch it. Either listen to it with someone that can, that can keep you safe or don't. This episode might be too much for you. So I'm just warning you ahead of time. Parental uh, discretion is advised. This podcast is brought to you by a piece that remains. Now a piece remains. Uh, guys, sometimes a loved one passes away. And when they do, how about you honor them? Why don't you honor them with a painting? from D at a piece that remains. What D does is she makes cremation art. She takes your ashes of your loved ones that have passed, your dog, uh, a family member, or even just a stranger that you did some grave uh, robbing with, and she will put them in a painting, a really trippy painting, and they're beautiful. It's a great way to keep, uh, keep uh, as we say around here, uh, keep grandpa on the wall. <laughs> All right, guys. Hit up D at a piece that remains.com, a P-E-A-C-E that remains.com, or a P-E-I-C-E that remains.com. Tell her Shevsky sent you. She loves me. She loves me so much. Also sponsored by Joe Earl at C3 Risk and Insurance Services. Hit up Joe. Hit up Joe right now. What are you waiting for? You need insurance. Everyone has to have it. Joe will get it for you. He's an insurance broker. He'll find you the best deal on whatever you need. Also, if you get a policy from him, he gives you $25. That's a lot of shekels towards Amazon.com. You can spend it on whatever you want at Amazon. Tell him Shevsky sent you. He likes me a lot. Actually, he loves me. This podcast is also brought to you by me, Mr. Jonathan Shevsky. If you'd like me to help you find your fantasy house or even just your uh, condo in Burbank, hit me up. Southern California Realtor right here. I'm licensed by the state. I took the test. <laughs> I passed it. You can't cheat on that test too, folks. You really have to study. Uh, just send me an email at fantasyhousepodcast at gmail.com and we will find you something good. Or if you need to sell your house, uh, I'll sell it for you. I'll sell it for you. I'll get you the best price on it. You'll negotiate from a position of strength. <laughs> no one doesn't want to not do that. Am I right, folks? Hit me up. The podcast is also talk brought to you by Claire. Okay, Claire is amazing. Uh, I've been talking to Claire from Heart and Handmade for the past couple of weeks, and uh, here's here's what's been going on. Claire's been making money online for the past 12 years. 12 years! That's older than some of my listeners. First, uh, with her crafty home decor blog, hearthandmade.co.uk, and then transitioning into an automation and marketing strategist for her site, clarityavenue.co.uk. So the best part is she's able to support her family in under 20 hours a week, which is phenomenal. Can you imagine supporting your family for under $20, 20 hours a week? Under $20 a week. That'd be insane. If she offered that, my God. Uh, it blows my mind. Uh, so hit her up if you need help streamlining the way you work in your home-based business. Tell her Shevsky sent you. She loves me. Claire does. She's the best. Uh, she's, over, uh, she's over in Ireland. She's being Irish. Uh, I talk to her on the phone all the time. And uh, whenever she says shouting, she says shouting like sharding. So she goes like, and he was sharding. And I'm like, what? And she's just saying, he was shouting. Imagine that. Imagine replacing shouting with sharding. <sighs> hit up, Claire. Also, guys, if you want to do me a favor, hit that share button if you're a regular listener. If you're a new listener, just listen to the episode first. Then if you like it, give us a five-star review. Then hit the share button. Tell a loved one. Be like, holy fuck, I just found this weird podcast called Fantasy House. You got to hear it, bro. Sis. Uncle, cuz, motherfucking mechanic that works on my car, whatever it is, hit the share button. Also, stay tuned. At the end of the episode, going to have a, we're going to play a, a song from uh, Pat Reagan and uh, Reagan and Watkins' new album, uh, Reagan and Watkins. So it's, it's titled Reagan and Watkins, and the album's titled Reagan and Watkins with their hit single, 
Reagan and Watkins. New from Reagan and Watkins Records. <laughs> you guys are going to love it, though. Seriously, I'm riffing. I'm riffing, but seriously, stick around until the very end so you can hear the song. Now, in the words of the great Angelo Bowers, let us do this! What you think of outside is like is like like a horror movie house like a scary castle like somewhere somewhere like dracula or frankenstein would live yeah. like where it's like it's like there's like lightning happening and there's like ooh, 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 ooh. there's owls there's owls okay <laughs> yeah and it's uh it's 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 scary but it says it says it says uh on on there's there's a wrought iron gate that says hell is where the heart is <laughs> this is and there's a lot of sc- like the 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 uh, there's a walkway from the from the uh, driveway up to the front door that's made of skulls. This is Pat Reagan's fantasy house. It has a driveway made of skulls, a walkway made of skulls. So you walk in, and there's like there's like a million John Shevskys. It's kind of <laughs> like being John Malkovich. There's a million John Shevskys, that's and they're all is. like they all have clits, and they're all like doodle doodle do. They're they're kind of they're kind of levitating. And they're spread eagle. They have their legs open, you know. Like they're John me. Would. Yeah. Okay. And it smells like queefs. And I guess that's you that's been queefing. <laughs> well, that's probably a title of a new Reagan song right there. I guess it's you that's been queefing. Well, uh, Reagan and Watkins, uh, who have a new album coming, our debut, uh, my band, Reagan and Watkins, a duo with Jeremiah Watkins. We have an album coming out on June seventh on all platforms it's coming out on comedy dynamics records yeah and we have a song uh that's not on the album but it's uh you know uh, lean on me yeah you ever heard of lean on me lean on me actually it's not lean on me stand by me you ever stand heard by me <laughs> <laughs> so darling darling stand, stand by, me. by me yeah we have a version uh, it's called queef on me so darling <laughs> darling queef on, on me oh, oh queef on me, me. When I'm wiling, when I'm smiling, queef on me. <laughs> oh, dude, I can't wait to smell. I mean, listen to your album. <laughs> yes, it's going to be in smell a vision That's ridiculous. Okay, so describe this house to me. Uh, okay, so there's a million John Chevskys, uh spread eagle levitating in the air. That's already weird. Um, and uh, there's, there's, for some reason, there's a jet ski. <laughs> There's a there's a there's a jet ski ridden by a ghost that uh, that is your father, <laughs> my father. Yeah, your dad is like riding a ghost, and he, but he's riding it like it's a horse, and he's riding it and he's lassoing above his head. He's my dad's riding the ghost of your dad is riding a jet ski. Also, levitate. when is this house? Like, nothing's dad's... on the ground. This my... is literally in the entrance. Okay, you walk in. It's you're like, wow, that's a strong smell. Like right away. Yeah. But the smell is weird, but also the environment is tripping me out. Yes, and because the, there's a million of you. Okay. Rub <laughs> with spread eagle with with clits, kind of like in Harry Potter, or like or like uh, something where they like go and you see all these like dead souls that are like floating around in like a pot. You yeah. know what I mean? Like kind of yeah. like that. But so your dad is like your da- <laughs> your dad is riding the jet ski and he's riding it into in, into a, a lot of John Shevsky's killing them, and there's like bl- like blood. Oh yeah, flying. I'm already around. freaking out. Okay. Um, and uh, then you know I offer you a glass of water. And uh, if you're a guest, you come over. I offer you a glass of water, and then and then uh, and then I, I go to the kitchen. Mm-hmm. And this is just like coming to your regular house, by the way, just so the <laughs> listeners know. Pat has all this in his regular house. The first time I went over, I was like, "How many me's are there?" <laughs> There's a million, and they're naked. Yeah, well, they're naked from the they're naked from the waist down. Ooh, even sexier. Yeah, the top of them <laughs> is wearing like a way too small, uh, a way too small <laughs> Britney Spears T-shirts. Okay. Um, that is something I've been known to wear. <laughs> yeah. And so, and so I offer you a glass of water and I'm like, Oh wait, I don't have any water. I'll have to offer you shit. And then, so I, so I, oh, I, I turn on my taps and like shit comes out of actual the, poop. Yeah. Like sludge. Okay. This is your fantasy house, Pat. Like you're gonna have to live in here. So if shit comes out of your tap, 
Well, you, you I don't have, have to, to live in there. I can live wherever I want. If it's my fantasy, then I can do whatever I want. That's true. Okay. So I don't have to live in there. I won't put any constrictions on this. Okay. So I offer you, I offer you a glass of shit. <laughs> and you're like, wow. thank you. Yeah, it's really great to be here. <laughs> yeah, you're like, thank you. And I say, would you like to see my artwork? And you go, yes. And I go, yes. And so I show you, I have priceless Andy Warhol's. I have Basquiat's on the wall. Um, I have a painting of your father, and he's nude. My and dad? Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's, he's nude, but he's got two penises. One is erect, and it's, like, poking at his eye, and he's, like, kind of, like, moving his head away. Like, get that away from me. And yeah. Kind of, and, like, squinting his one eye. Totally. And then the other one is flaccid, and it's, like, and it's hanging down, but it's, like, really long, like a horse penis. Interesting. <laughs> And, and then as you look at it, it's 3D, so you, like, move over, and the <laughs> penis, like, moves a little, and you're like, did that penis just move? It's like a 3D. It's like following, like, in those horror movies where the eyes follow you through paintings, but it's a penis. Well, you know, you you know, I have one in my in my house, a painting in my real house, that the painting that, or a picture that uh, that if you move, if you take a step to the left, like, it's a, hol- not hologram, but, the, like, the perspective of it shifts. <laughs> okay, so there's this painting up. What else is there? Um... Okay, so there's <laughs> there's stairs that lead down into hell. Okay. So instead of a instead of an ascending staircase that leads to a second story, yeah. there's a stairs that lead down into hell. A descending staircase. Um a descending staircase. And uh but the hell is like really cool and fun and it's some place you'd want to go. Like a little Nicky hell. Adam yeah. Sandler's there. He, I, he's got a, a comb over. Hey. I haven't seen Little Nicky, and I swear to God, I'd never watch it. Oh, it's so good. No one likes it that I ever tell to watch it, too, by the way, so don't do it. Okay, so you go down the stairs into hell. Okay. And then I go, like, you want to see my dishwasher? <laughs> I'm like, sure. I want to see anything in your fantasy house, dude. So you, so, so, so I say, take my hand. Okay. And, and I, and I lead you. Mm-hmm. Uh, I lead you. I, I clasp your hand, and mm-hmm. I lead you. Uh, and it looks like we're heading straight to the dishwasher, but yeah. we can never get there. It keeps getting farther oh, and terrifying. farther away. It's a nightmare. So we're walking. <laughs> yeah. We're walking towards a receding dishwasher. Yeah. And the dishwasher, like, you start to hear, like, David Lynchian sound design. Like, oh. <sighs> Confusing. Where am I going? Pat, where are, we, where are you taking me? Where's the dishwasher? How much farther? Just, come, on, come on. Come on. Let's go. Okay. <sighs> I'm coming. I'm going. I'm trusting you, but also at the same time, like it seems like it's just going farther away. And the sounds tripping We're almost me out. There. Okay. How much longer? It's just one sec. Okay. I'm, I'm trusting you, dude. But this has been a long walk. Ah, it's broken. <laughs> we can't go. <laughs> That's the end of the dish. So we, we never get to the dishwasher. Okay. We it, never get to the dishwasher. It's a. It's a. a, a what's that called? A. 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 a, a Hitchcock uh, term, uh, 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 you know this term, uh, uh, MacGuffin? Not a MacGuffin. I don't Is that what believe. it's called, Al? A red herring, maybe? Red herring, we, just, we never go back to it? Yeah. That we, was it. Yeah, that was the end of the dishwasher. Okay. But then I'm like, you want to see my other dishwasher? And I'm like, oh, yeah, because I'm still like, okay, yeah, why not, right? <laughs> we turn it left, and this is a nice dishwasher. <laughs> I'm talking seven feet tall, 600 pounds. <laughs> it's, it's fucking sweating. You're like, is that dishwasher sweating? And, uh, and and I open the dishwasher, and David Lynch comes out. He pops that out of your dishwasher, and he goes, "The weather today in Topanga Canyon is seventy nine degrees, with a fifty one percent chance of partial showers." And then I go, and then I go, David Lynch, will you suck my guest dick? And he says, "Ah, uh, that's cool, David. Nice to meet you. I'll just settle for a handshake." It's too it's too late, John. Uh, he knows my name. Yeah, it's. It's too late, John. Uh, I'm already, I'm already painting what I'm doing. And then he shows you a painting of him sucking your dick. And then you look into the painting, and it's like it's like a live movie that's playing of you getting your dick sucked. And you look down, and you're feeling yourself, you're feeling it happen too. So it's happening, and you're looking at a painting of this it. It's not the- a mirror though. It's not a mirror because mirrors are just glass. This is so weird. So then we go, okay. Then well, like, what do I say to David Lynch after seeing that painting and feeling that? Do I just go like, thanks, man? Oh, he just, he just, he vanishes. He's so Lynchian. Yeah, he vanishes. And then, and then, and then, and then you like, you blink and then you open your eyes. We're in a giant football stadium. 
bright lights. And I'm still inside your fantasy house? With yeah, your giant... you're still inside my fantasy house. Okay. So so the, so it's like you, you blink and you're in a football stadium. Mm-hmm. And and there's a fucking game going on. It's like the it's like the Super Bowl, but it's not. Where so am I like, in the stadium? You're on the field. You're at the fifty. As the line. game's going on, do I have to like jump out of the yard way? Line. Yeah, well, pretty much. So you're at the fifty yard line, and you look you look to your left, nothing. You look to your right, holy shit, two football teams, really like almost you're shoulder to shoulder with them, and and they and they call hut hut hike, and then they throw the ball, they throw the ball, and 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 you, you like, and I'm like, and I'm like, take my hand, John, and so I take I'm your like, hand. Okay, yeah, yeah, get and me then, out of here, and Pat. We, and, and then we and then we start running, and we start running, and we go and and uh, jump. I, I kind of like I I, uh, I slingshot you. So I take your hand, I slingshot you up into the air, and you with a giant, wide-eyed smile on your face, like soar across the soar across the air and catch the ball, and then the ball. <laughs> The ball, the ball turns. You blink. As it turns you're into catching David ball, Lynch. I'm it, just joking. The ball turns into a bowl of Cheetos. Oh, yummy! And then you land on a, the most warm, wonderful couch you've ever landed on. Yes. In like a in like a 1996 bachelor pad, like into a huge couch with like an old school uh, big screen TV. Yeah. Yeah. Now you're in my bedroom. All right. Go on. <laughs> and I say, um, so, so, so you're in my bedroom, and my bedroom has like, my bedroom doesn't have any. It's, it has a couch instead of beds. Okay. Yeah. Um, and there's like a, there's no bed in your bedroom. It's no, just couches. There's a full time. You like sleeping on the couch. <laughs> a full time psychoanalyst in your bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so you can. I, I say, I say, would you like to have a session, John? Yes, of course. Okay, and then uh, well, it's like getting a massage, where you're like, "Yeah, I'm not gonna turn that down. I, I could probably use one right now." Yeah. So, well, um, just yeah, have a, you're already laying on the couch. You've got your Cheetos. So mm-hmm. uh, let's begin. All right. And uh, a psychiatrist might say something like, "So tell me your biggest fear." Okay, and I gotta tell you my biggest fear. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, I don't know. Mortality is kind of terrifying. Like the end of it all. I don't like things to end. I don't like the end of movies, okay. weekends, you know, songs. I like it. The beginning and the middle is the best. Okay. Would you like a hamburger? Yeah. This is a psychiatrist is also my chef. Psychoanalyst. And he's <laughs> okay. he's like but Wait, he doesn't need to do anything. Are they putting drugs into the food though? Because I don't want to go on any He like pulls he pulls like food out of the walls. Okay. Okay. He pulls like hamburgers. Don't take out a hamburger. Walls. Sure. Yeah. Here you go. Thank you. A hamburger. Would you like uh pickles or Yeah, I love pickles. Okay. Pickles rain from the ceiling onto your head. And that'd be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, my reaction to being rained on by pickles like, okay. I don't want any ice blocks. I'll tell you that much. Okay. Um, then, then, um, then I go. I go. I go. You want to check out my podcast studio? Yeah, of course. Can I finish this hamburger first? I didn't really even talk about you my. Bring big... it with you. Okay. Leave the Cheetos. Okay. Bring your hamburger. Yeah, that's my motto for life. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> so we go back. Uh, we go. We go to my podcast studio, mm-hmm. which is uh, th- this studio that we're in right now. Yeah. And uh, and I say, would you like to be a guest on? My podcast, Magic House. <laughs> sure, and, let's do it. And then my psychoanalyst comes in and he whispers in my ear, and I go, "What? What?" As she whispers in my ear. Okay. Um, she's a hermaphrodite, so she goes, she could be either, either one, either one. Okay. Uh, she and she whispers in my ear, and and then I go, "Oh, okay, there are legal issues. Um, I'm sorry, we're gonna have to cancel the podcast." So and I then, can't be on your show. No, the podcast like folds up. Okay. The podcast like folds up mm-hmm. and then f- like flies away like a rocket ship. Okay. Okay. And then uh, and then we're like, what do we do now? And so we start kissing. You and me? Yeah. There's nothing else for us to do. <laughs> okay. So we just start kissing. And then <laughs> and then I'm like I'm like I'm like, did did you know that uh, <laughs> did you know that I have all of Tom Petty's unreleased demos? Oh, that would be amazing. I'd be like, stop kissing, start playing the music. <laughs> yeah, but we can do both. It was the wonderful thing about. My I don't want to make out, dude. I want to just listen to Tom Petty. The demos I want to eat this time. hamburger. And- well, you have your choice. You can either not hear the demos, or we can kiss and hear the demos. <laughs> You're basically rape kissing me into listening to Tom Petty's unreleased demos. Okay, yeah. you win, dude. Yes. I want to hear these fucking songs. Okay, great. It's a small day in a big sky. I look around and see a black guy. He's got a lot. <laughs> this is going the worst on Tom Petty song. <laughs> well, that's why they weren't released. 
<laughs> but I can tell that it's not even Tom Petty's voice. Over. That's not even Tom Petty singing. Well, that's me singing. We're not. We, I'm just telling. I'm giving you a tour oh, of the okay. house. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. I lost myself in your in your <laughs> feverish fantasy house dream. Uh, okay. 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 So so um it was, so what? It was still nice getting to hear you know some unreleased Tom Petty. Yeah. So we're in there for three days. Okay. No food. No water. There's no food in the walls in this room. <laughs> this is terrifying, Pat. <laughs> Three days, no food, no water. The you worst develop, Tom Petty you songs. You get a cold that, because there's just like there's just sickness in the air. There's bad circulation. Yeah, there's bad circulation. You get a cold and you start sniffling, mm-hmm. and that like I don't know. There's like there's like a metallic, uh, there's like a metallic going on the whole time. That high pitched like thing that you can hear that like that yeah, really so, really high pitched so, sound. Yeah. yeah. So you love hearing the Tom Petty, but you hate hearing the. <laughs> yep and um and um there's a well i don't know keep going i'm, I'm still there okay um and do you have a regular bathroom i can use now that we've been here for three days oh the bathroom <laughs> no we just have a bucket a slot your fantasy bucket. house has a slot bucket yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> It has a slop bucket. Well, thank you for letting me use your slop bucket. Is there somewhere I can wash my hands now? It's the same bucket. <laughs> that doesn't make any good sense as far as hygiene goes. <laughs> um. So, uh. So. So then, all of a sudden, like then, then like, uh, yeah. Then like angels fly in. Mm-hmm. Because my house is stocked with angels. We mean stocked with angels. These are people. They're not objects. You can't just stock angels. Angels aren't people. Well, they're angels, but, exactly. but they're intelligent beings. You got to like, respect their autonomy. But they fly around. Okay. This is connecting back to your father because okay. they sli- <laughs> fly around with uh, they fly around with wings. And then but they, they're always carrying a jet ski. There's two of them each carrying a jet ski by Ooh. one each by one handle. Like briefcases. Uh, well, there. Well, well, like one angel will be on the right side. And he's holding the jet ski uh, handle with his left hand. He's okay. holding the right jet ski handle with his left hand okay another angel on the left side okay holding the left jet ski handle with his right hand and they're flapping around but you have to be careful it's almost like an obstacle course because they're throwing the they're throwing the uh the jet skis at you and they're trying to decapitate you and you're like ah oh, no 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 and but but really you're like, i'm oh, yes, dodging yes, yes, jet skis yes. as they're being thrown dodging at me? jet skis that are heading for your neck jesus yeah. the and then and then like and then like a big knife comes out of the jet ski and, and the jet ski starts and the, and the angels start like doing 360s and they're trying to spin around the knife and they're trying to decapitate you and you're like oh i should i should have called my dad and i'm like well this was this whole thing was about even though i know you have a good relationship with your family um so, so <laughs> then, then we then we go then, then i go then i go it's tampon time and, and i'm like wait wait what tampon time what the hell's that that's where we go to, to try on tampons so like you know how some people play dress up you know with like clothes or like i'd be like oh here's my here's my prop closet with my funny hats yeah and stuff. which you do have in These real life have a, just tampons so we try on all the brands of tampons going back 50 years. It's almost like a museum. <laughs> oh my God. You're like, welcome. I'm like, welcome to my tampon museum. And you're like, aren't tampons for, for women? And I go, look down, John. And then you have a vagina. And then you're, and then. And it's then like I'm in a Diane Word the, song right now in a David Lynch movie. On. Yeah. Yeah. I, I hate know you Diane Word. Put... Diane Word sucks. Okay. Wait. So, um, <laughs> so you put the tampon <gasps> on <laughs> and then you start bleeding. Oh my God. And then, you, and, then, and then blood starts like coming out of the walls and then it feels, it's, it's, kind, it's, it's like the, the, the Kubrick elevator full of blood and the shining. Yeah. But, uh, but, uh, it's, yeah, it's coming from the, but there's no elevator. It's, 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 it's coming, it's coming down your legs and it's coming out of the walls. And then I go, let's get out of here. And you're like, yeah, let's yeah, get, let's the, get the, out the hell here. out of your house. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Is there another uh, room that's a little safer and more cozy. Yeah. So let's go to the backyard. Oh, I love backyards. There's a dock. There's like a little little a, a small lake you're in a neighborhood you're in a nice suburban neighborhood in indiana and there's a dock with like a small lake and there's a paddle boat and uh and there's a snowboarding half pipe in the backyard i like that it's pretty cool that sounds pretty cool yeah and but it's but uh there's no snow right now so it's just grass <laughs> okay so, so yeah, like, a grass half pipe sounds pretty cool too it is yeah so 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 i'm like i'm like you want to check out my roller board yes so it's a roll. It's like a snowboard, but it's got wheels on it. Yeah. And you can, you, we can, we do the half pipe thing, and the zombies go back into the ground. Oh, nice. Yeah. So we're having fun, and then, and then a babe comes out with lemonade, and she goes, she goes, John, would you like some lemonade? Uh, hell yeah, I'm thirsty as, as all can be. Okay. So then she she takes out one of her tits and starts squirting blood into the lemonade, 
And then she's like, here you go, fucker. And then, <laughs> you know, maybe I'll just have some water. <laughs> it's too late. The lemonade's already inside of you. I already drank the lemonade? You didn't even drink it. It just, you, you like, you, you all of a sudden looked down, and your stomach was like a fishbowl, and it was, like, full of lemonade. Of, of blood lemonade? Yeah. But not actual blood oranges. Not blood oranges. Real blood. Blood lemonade. Okay, blood lemonade. Um, and then, then the fun resumes. Um, so, 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 so then we've got, like, a, a so then we've got, like, a, a, so we've got, like, a, um, it's the backyard, so we've got, like, a, a you know what I always wanted in a house? You know Zombies was, that are sexual predators? No, I always wanted, um, I always wanted, I always wanted a, a bunch of guitars. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so there's, there's, there's a bunch of guitars that come out of the ground. And then you're like, oh, this is sweet. But then, then you go to pick one up, and it's burning hot. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> this Telecaster is scolding. <laughs> and it's like, and it's like, that's right, John, you fucker. Can I suck at guitar? It's the guitar's way of punishing me. Well, you, you don't suck at guitar. You're I'm very a good horrible guitar, guitar player. Thank you're, you. You're, you're so shred. sweet for saying you're that. You're a great guitarist. Well, horrible guitarist. You're a great guitarist. Okay, so let's go upstairs. Okay. So we go upstairs, and you know what's cool is like it's like you know when you slide down a banister, yeah. you slide down a, a, a hand railing. Yeah, that's like that's like stairs. I love that. Yeah, you like we like we you like you uh, we like we like run up the stairs and then we slide down the banister and then we do it again. And so we're so we're like playing. Yeah, we're like playing uh, like riding this banister uh, back and forth, up and down, up and down. And I'm like, let's do it again. Let's do it again. And then you're like, I'm kind of getting tired. And I'm like, let's do it again. Let's do it again. You're like, I don't want to do it anymore. Like, let's do it again. Let's do it again. And then you're like, hey, I'm, 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 I'm like, do you have any water? And I'm like, let's do it again. Let's do it again. And you're like, you're like, my legs, my legs. I don't even think I can keep climbing. I'm like, let's do it again. Let's do it again. And then you're like, fuck, man. I, I, I just, he's just gonna keep. I'm like, let's do it again. And I'm like, and I'm, and I'm, and you're like, you're, you're really, really exhausted. And you yeah. keep sliding down this banister. And then and then it starts to like chafe you. It starts to like rub on your butt. You know what I mean? It starts to like it starts to like yeah, it starts to hurt. Start, it's starting to not enjoy it anymore. It's you hurting. start to, yeah, you haven't been enjoying it. And then and I'm like, let's do it again. Let's do it again. <laughs> and then you're like, I don't want to do it anymore. And then I'm like, fine. And then I disappear. And so I'm just chilling in your stair in your stairwell. Like I disappear. Lights go black. Just pitch black. Pitch black. Well, now what? I'm just chilling in your fantasy house. Pat! Where are ya? John, it is I, Glargar. Glargar? Yes, John. And I have something for you. Uh, alrighty. Are the lights back on yet, or is it still pitch black? It's pitch black, John. It's a terrifying offering. Look up at the ceiling, John. Okie dokie. It's a beautiful painting. Of what? It's like the fucking, like, one of those, like, uh, one of those, like, uh, Sistine Chapel. Oh, yeah. It's the Sistine Chapel. So he lights goes, are on. He goes, he goes, do you like the art, John? <laughs> yes, I, I think so. It's very Great. Pretty. It's yours. Thank you. Folds up the Sistine Chapel, put in your pocket. That's a gift. Thank you so much. <laughs> that is such a kind gesture. And a souvenir from your fantasy house. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, man. Uh, your house was a fucking nightmare of trippiness. I don't even know how to explain. Yeah, it, it's crazy. Where do we go from here? Yeah, there is nowhere to go from there, right? The backyard was terrifying. The kitchen is a giant scary. What would you price this at? <laughs> You want me to figure out comps for, well, you know, there's just a place that sold three years ago right down the street. We have to figure out the neighborhood, neighborhood, right? Yeah, same neighborhood. So uh, we have to figure out the neighborhood. I mean, this so but this has it's, like. It's in Fiji. It's in Fiji? Yeah. That's a million square feet. I'm going to say if it's in Fiji and it's a million square feet, Fiji square footage, I don't know exactly what the square footage is in Fiji. Three is a fun number. So let's just say it's $300, probably about $300 million. $300 million. I'm just, if it's, if. It's three hundred dollars a square foot, at a million square feet. You got three hundred million dollars. Great, I'll rent it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna rent your house, David Lynch? Once a year when he goes on vacation and he wants an inspiration for his next yeah, nightmare. Yeah, it would be someone like that. Okay. Someone like that who wants to go, or maybe like Rob Zombie. You think Rob Zombie could handle that house? I feel like David Lynch can. I don't think Rob Zombie can handle your house. 
I think he could. I think he'd love it. I think David Lynch, maybe Charlie Kaufman come over for an afternoon, not even actually spend the night. Yeah. What if, like, Jenna Jameson rented it with her new boyfriend? I would. Does she have a boyfriend? Yeah. Is is he a trippy dude? I don't know who he is. I can't imagine Jenna Jameson's boyfriend being into this house. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, as your realtor for your fantasy house, (laughs) your terrifying fantasy house, well, fucking right on. You and your scary ass tr- fantasy house. Where should people look you up? Yeah, look me up on uh, on on music. Just Pat Reagan on Spotify. Any any all all music platforms. Listen to my music. Listen to Reagan and Watkins. R E G A N and Watkins. It's the album's coming out June seventh, and I believe we're gonna play a song from the uh, from the new Reagan and Watkins album to take us out. Let's play a song from the new Reagan and Watkins album. Take us out. You know you should get for your podcast? No. Steve Buscemi. Thanks, man. That's a good tip. I would oh, love just it. Giving you it's a one of my favorite actors. He'd be fun. Just giving you a tip so you don't have to take it. Either way, it doesn't care me. I don't, I don't fucking care. I'll take it. <laughs> Consider it done. <sighs> Thanks for doing this, dude. Thank you. Thanks for having me in your fantasy house. Blessed guest. your lip gloss you touch my shoulder so awkward i got you tickets to the warp tour you got me cages from the hot topic store this summer i think that we'll fall in love this summer i think that we'll finally hug this summer you'll cheat on me with my best friend this summer i hope that it never ends this summer you and brad catch a ride to the party we say good things bye to my cousin marty you and brad disappear into another room Ten minutes later, I hear boom, boom, boom. No, it's not the DJ. No, it's not the cops. It's Brad and my girl, but you're sucking on his ass. How could you do this to me? I thought that we were friends. I think that I'm ready for summer to end this summer. Take a dump in the public pool this summer. Tag graffiti all over my school this summer. And I kill my best friend Brad this summer. Jimmy doesn't seem that bad. I guess I'll take my little brother to warp tour. My little brother's never broken my heart Except that one time he slept with my girlfriend Man, I can't wait for fall to start This summer, my mom died This summer, painted my nails black and cried This summer, cousin Marty got a DUI This summer, I'm so much been full of lies This summer This summer This summer We said the war in Iraq's over This summer 2003, dog.